Hello all, if you see here, this is a things board dashboard where uh, we are having uh, the temperature and relative humidity values that are displayed. So this temperature and relative humidity values we are actually reading from the Raspberry Pi um, and DHT11 sensor is connected uh, to the Raspberry Pi. So um, the Raspberry Pi is sending to the ThinkSport server. You can see here the, the real time values from the last uh, 10 minutes is being displayed here. This is called a dashboard in ThinkSport where it shows the um, <coughs> devices, uh, the, uh, the values um, of the data that is received. Now if you go to the devices under entities, okay, we can see the list of devices that are active. Right now we have the Raspberry Pi of ours which is active and when we click on this you can see and, you, and when you click on the last telemetry data you have the uh, last data that is coming in right now it is 951 and uh, uh, just uh, recently uh, the time is 952 and at 951 there is a data that is received so this dashboard is actually showing a uh, live data Okay, and uh, you can see here the last update was 46 seconds ago and then if we wait for uh, a minute we can uh, see the <coughs> latest value that will be updated okay you can see here it just got updated so this is the dashboard now how is it uh, written so we actually have um, a <coughs> code which is basically handling this which uh, requires uh, uh, a TB gateway MQTT um, package which has to be downloaded. So this has to be first downloaded on your PC and then um, the, the access token of your that device is required. Like if you go to the dashboard again okay, and when you go to the devices okay and uh, click on the devices uh, if you see here copy access token this is the access token of our device so using this access token uh, the communication happens so that access token is mentioned and server is demo.thingsboard.io okay now when we go down further uh, and uh, similar to the DHT11 interfacing uh, with the Raspberry Pi code that we have shown we have connected the signal output of DHT11 to the pin 2 and uh, the sensor uh, is using uh, the package Adafruit underscore DHT package from that DHT11 um, sensor is assigned to the sensor and then the main code is near the get data so here what we are doing is we are basically extracting the humidity and temperature sensor from the uh, <coughs> sensor using the adafruit underscore dht package so we are not writing the exact code we are using the package that is present and then the telemetry data um, is uh, uh, assigned and in the main what we are doing is uh, we are actually uh, trying to send the telemetry data um, to the <coughs> server so things about server here in in the previous video we have seen uh, raspberry pi sending to a uh, local uh, pc right in that case raspberry pi was the server the local pc was act, was uh, requesting for data and then the server was responding now in this case if we see um, uh, things about is the server and uh, <coughs> raspberry pi is the client so uh, what we are doing is from the client we are sending data to the uh, server so if, if you are a beginner in the uh, iot space and uh, we say data being saved to the cloud right uh, you can think things board as a cloud and <coughs> the data is being real time data is being pushed to the cloud so this is uh, the, how the code is written so the other things are just kept aside uh, like kept as is without any changes and we just modified this code to ensure that we receive the data and um, where do we get this uh, base code from okay so if you go to the things board website 
it is how to connect uh, raspberry pi 4 to the uh, things board so the, this has uh, the basic code you can see here the prerequisites are mentioned you need a raspberry pi board and a tp mqtt client is required okay because we are using the mqtt library here and python at least minimum of 3.7 is required so at least these three are required to start with it and uh, how to create a device and how to install the uh, the mqtt client library and <clears throat> how to access the uh, token and the basic code to transmit the data from the um, Raspberry Pi to the um, Thingsport cloud is provided here and correspondingly um, what has to be changed in this code according to your setup there are a few instructions provided as well so you can use this and uh, uh, like uh, edit uh, as per your requirements as per your code and try to record the data